everything in my life was wonderful. I had three beautiful kids, I was married, I was really happy, our business was going well, and then all of a sudden I would be standing in the kitchen and overcome by uh, feelings of, of terror and horror and uh, um, images of things that uh, sort of made sense but didn't, but it was really the overwhelming feelings that I had. And then the things that I started to think all the time. I started to obsess about thinking about well, you know, ending my life and, and really that it wasn't a fit place for my children and that really, really scared me. So I immediately went to my family doctor and said, please, I, I, I don't know what's going on here. I had some guesses um, but really felt that I needed to talk to somebody and, and she made a referral right away. But it was, it was really scary for me. It became even more um, significant and immediate for me uh, when my son became ill. It, it took on a whole other um, dimension, for sure. What was scariest was when he talked about uh, wanting to end his life. Um, so that was one of the first trips that we had to Chio. Um, a subsequent one um, was when he, um, well, I can't say he was particularly rational. He was really scary in our household, and I, I took him again. So there was a number of hospitalizations for him before we actually did get a diagnosis. Um, and unfortunately, um, he has a diagnosis of, like my grandmother's schizophrenia. I noticed that uh, he enjoyed uh, cutting our grass and doing the gardening, so I asked him if that was something that he might like to do as a business and uh, so we created a business called KNJ Yardworks. We're fortunate to be able to also um, employ some other, uh, I say disadvantaged youth, so people that my son knows from time to time to come on the job. And uh, the looks on their faces when the job is complete and uh, the, uh, our clients are saying what a wonderful job, uh, it's really, really great. Even though I had had a, a background or some history, some familiarity with mental health, that when my son was first hospitalized, his first major hospitalization, I had no idea what anybody was really talking about. So that propelled me that eventually when I um, became involved with the Family Advisory Council um, to bring to their attention a guide that I'd found uh, a couple of years later um, that outlined, uh, it's called the Roller Coaster Recovery. And I was so desperate as a parent to hear things about recovery, um, to really look at kinds of things that could support or the knowledge or the education was necessary, to understand a lot of the things that I had had difficulty understanding. And in this book, it also listed a whole bunch of resources. And as a parent, to me, having hope or the next phone number to call or the next door to knock on is so important. Um, so I was fortunate enough to get the backing of the Addictions and Mental Health Network to produce a, a version of the From Roller Coaster to Recovery uh, for the Champlain region, for our region. I'm Catherine Corey. Now you know who I am. Are you with me?